Here's a short excerpt from a live webinar presented at Marching Arts Education and Color Guard EDU. You can access the recording of this webinar and watch it at your own convenience at www.marchingartseducation.com. So that seems to be part of your process is laying all of that out ahead of time. Try to plan ahead of time. You know, I, I think about um, when, we're, when we're trying to figure it out, we, we always, we have this many, we have 40, and we think, okay, at the biggest max moments, we can plan for 36. And in this moment, we need to plan for 30 or 24, so that you, you're working with a small, smaller ensemble. I mean, 24 isn't a small ensemble by, by most means, but so you have 24 so that you have 16, in the wings or on reserve to enter for the next thing. And so then you bring those 16 out and the 24 transition to something else and they're working in this space and now the 16 have come down here and one of the 24, you didn't see her, but she left and now she's getting something else. She's changing her costume and she's gonna come out over here. So now we'll have three elements that are, that are working, you know? And so it's trying to figure those things out that they match with the music and that they're relevant to what the band is doing. Yeah. So, um, just for anybody out there, if you have any questions or you have anything for John, just go ahead and let me know. But um, I, one of the things that an old instructor told me a long time ago is you don't need to use all the kids all the time. And what you're saying, like, completely and totally, like, just solidifies that because that, to me, I would, like, in my younger teaching years, I would have never thought of that, ever. Right, right. And it, you know, it depends. When you, when you have 30, 40, 50, you can put a few on reserve to bring them in for a later moment. If you have 16, use 16, you know, use 14 and have two that one's gonna enter here in another moment and the second one comes out and by the time those two come out, the others could have exchanged equipment. Or you wanna think about holistically, uh, we've gotta have one, definitely one thing to look at, but probably hopefully two things to look at. And when there's a group exiting, there's still something to watch here, why this group exits and they're getting ready to enter Saber, but that's not till the end of the tune. These people are gonna move forward and finish the song, and they're gonna expand and spread out, so you think, wow, this is a big ending, and then that finishes, they cut off, they start the Saber thing, and my Saber soloist runs out, and then three more run out, and then a grouping forms, and, it, and that's why this thing is now exiting. So you have to plan those moments and, and piece them out so that so that groups are entering and exiting and there's always something interesting to watch that takes your eye so that we don't notice the transition or we don't notice changing of equipment or changing of costume. Right. So where did you learn how to do this? It's, you know, probably just from watching at transitions, you know, and, and for <laughs> me, it's, I'm such a stickler and my band director is such a stickler and you know, we just want everything to look really, really perfect. We're super, super careful about, and and I notice that when I'm judging, I realize a lot. The, the oh, I call them the throwaway moments. You just threw that away. You, your kids just ran off the front sideline, staring at the sideline, going to get their equipment, you know, and they have to take 16 counts, and they have to do choreography, and they have to finish, and then go down behind the color guard flats. You know, it, it's it's such it's such an eyesore. You know, like it's one of those things that you're watching the show. Like this is love. Oh no. Oh, you know, and that draws your eye in a negative way. So it's it's one of those things where you 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 want it to be a complete thought from beginning to end. And those are the the little the little pieces of tape that carry you from this to that. Yeah, and it's, I, I, there's never been, like, I don't think I've ever seen a show that you guys have done that I've just been, like, I'm just continually amazed. And it's so, it's so nice to have that um, because, again, you're, you're making those transition moments 
the big moments. You're making those moments the moments where we're not looking at the transition. We're looking at another moment. Right. And that's super we're introducing cool. the next moment while we, right. we exit the current moment or the last moment. That's so cool and so freaking smart. You're a genius. No. No. 